Every other day, Uganda registers serious effects of climate change, mainly on the economy, livelihoods, and environment, manifesting through droughts, floods, and changes in rainfall patterns. Whereas mitigation efforts are known for reversing some of these effects, adaptation to climate change presents higher returns on investment, especially knowing that climate change is here to stay, thus the urgent need for a national adaptation plan. Basically adaptation is about trying to deal with, live with the climate change. While in mitigation we are trying to stop climate change from happening by reducing the greenhouse gas emissions. But we know that even if you take action, the impacts will not be seen in a short time. So you have to try and live with these changes. Already, United Nations Children's Fund, UNICEF, is leading other development partners in an effort to cushion the country against these devastating effects. UNICEF is supporting us to develop this plan and is putting in 100,000 US dollars for the plan only. But before we developed the plan, we did an analysis of trying to see how is climate change impacting Uganda, what are the challenges, what are the indicators of climate change, we called it vulnerability and risk assessment. This was revealed at the launch of the process of the development of the National Adaptation Plan for Water, Sanitation and Hygiene, WASH. In a statement read on his behalf by the Commissioner for Climate Change, Margaret Mwebesa, the Permanent Secretary, Means of Water and Environment revealed that the National Adaptation Planning Process was established in 2010 to support least developed countries like Uganda in identifying medium and long term adaptation needs informed by the latest climate science. To operationalize the NAP process, the government through the Climate Change Department in our Ministry of Water and Environment has uh, obtained a grant from the Green Climate Fund for a three and a half for a three-year project to build capacity to advance the national adaptation plan process in the country. We want to build the capacity. There will be a lot of trainings, a lot of workshops. So then, of course, we want also to develop project proposals which can be sold for, to the same for funding. So Section 7 of the National Climate Change Act of 2021 mandates lead agencies and sectors to formulate their climate change action plans to assess the sector-specific mitigation potential, identify adaptation actions, and delivery mechanisms. Dokas Kimono, UBC News.